Hello everyone, this is Karthik Selvaraj and in this video 2 of IBM WebSphere MQ file transfer edition tutorials we will see about the general concepts okay, and uh, we will see how a file transfer works internally when we use MQFT. Okay. So there are three major components in MQFT. So the first one is coordination queue manager, the next one is command queue manager and the last one is agent queue manager. So this session will be a more of a theoretical session. I will uh, give you demos on how to set up these coordination command and agent queue manager in my next video. Okay. So when you install MQFT okay, or if you set up and uh, manage file transfer region using MQFT, you need to set up a coordination queue manager. So coordination queue manager is nothing but it controls all the logging and audit informations okay so uh, I'll, I'll i'll explain it later on how uh, this logging and everything works so as of now just understand that it is used for auditing and logging purpose okay so next command queue manager is to process the commands so uh, is to process the commands and agent queue manager is the one which actually does the file transfer okay. so now it would be a little bit vague for you because these are generic terms I'll explain you so for a file transfer let us have a, a two servers so let us have server A which is an uh, unique server and let us have an another server server B which is an Windows server okay. so I need to tag a queue manager first of all you need to create a queue manager okay so on how to create a queue manager uh, you can see my previous videos I have provided the link of how to create a queue manager in the description section below you can just check out that link so you have to create a queue manager and you have to set that queue manager as a coordination queue manager okay so now for a file to be transferred from server A to server B you need to install something called as MQFT agents in both these servers okay so when you create an agent in server a you would be asked for three parameters okay so one would be you should define which is going to be your coordination queue manager and which is going to be your command queue manager and which is going to be an agent queue manager so this parameters are required when you create an agent so this is our this agent is called fte agent okay file transfer edition agents okay Similarly, when you create an agent in the destination, you have to provide the same details over there as well. Okay. So you have to provide the coordination command and the agent command and the details. So when you create these agents, and if you see in this on the, uh, MQFT control, when there is a plugin there where we can see the agents which are being created under this MQFT subtype, you can see these two agents being created over there. Okay. And file transfer is only possible for the agents which are reporting to the same coordination queue manager. Okay. So what will happen is when you create an agent, there will be some default queues created for that agent in both the agent queue managers and the command queue managers. Okay. So when there is a file transfer happening and there are different ways of file transfer which you can trigger. So that will be in subsequent videos. So when you trigger a file transfer, basically it is using MQ concepts only. So uh, the queues that are created for this agent will be used to transfer from the source queue to the destination queue and it goes to the folder location. So in our example, it was an Unix system. So from Unix system, it goes to a queue, okay, which would be our uh, source agent queue manager. Okay. And from here, it uh, Tra tra traverse to a queue which is your destination agent queue manager okay so basically queues and from there it goes to a folder location here is all which is a window system and here also it picks from a folder location so internally this is what is happening okay so before going for the start of before learning about MQFT you must definitely know these concepts okay 
So in my next video, we will be setting up a coordination queue manager and a command queue manager. Okay. And uh, if time permits, we will be creating an agent as well. Okay. So that's all for this video. So if you have any queries, you can just post your queries in the comment section below. And thanks for watching this video.